Hey guys and gals, I got another one for you today. Today, this is going to be a video about the Shaska Tier 8 Premium Soviet Tank Destroyer. And I'm a couple days late on this, so I apologize. Um, but we're going to compare it to the Scorp and the Vindicator. So, uh, looking at the engines, 16.67 horsepower to ton is on uh, par with the Scorpion's acceleration. Vindicator's a little bit better, but the forward speed is the best at 65, and the reverse speed's all tied at 20. And the fire chance is 12%, which is best in class out of those three. Uh, now the gun, get into the gun a little bit. Uh, reload time is the worst. The aim time is tied for the worst with the Vindicator. Accuracy, the worst. Uh, accuracy on the move, the worst again. Accuracy on rotating the turret, so when the gun's going left to right, also the worst. Um, max elevation, 29 degrees, depression 7, that doesn't sound too bad. Uh, comparing the tracks, uh, the terrain resistances are exactly the same as the Scorp, and worse than the Vindicator but uh, it does rotate 32 degrees per second rather than 30 degrees a second um, as the scorpion does but remember this doesn't have a fully rotatable turret i honestly not even sure how far you can turn it from left to right but i think it's it's gotta be quite a bit um looking at the turrets now view range 360 on par with the scorp 18 degrees per second which is on par with the scorp and little they're both lagging behind the vindicator by just a little bit now we get to the most important part when you're buying a premium tank the radio 730 meters signal range in the shaska outclassing the scorp and the vindicator by 30 meters so just in that factor you should buy this tank um looking at the ammunition more importantly uh interesting the alpha damage on this thing uh, beats the Scorp and smokes the Vindicator. The Vindicator is more of a DPM gun than a high alpha gun. The really interesting point of the Shaska that I want to point out is it gets heat shells for its premium and generally when you get heat shells your velocity dips down but the velocity is still 1030 meters per second on par with its AP rounds and is better than um, any of the AP rounds on the other two, their APCRs are a little bit better. Uh, let's look at armor profiles. The Scorp G is on the left. Vindicator is on the right. Obviously, the Vindicator outclasses them in armor, but that's still not enough armor to do anything, so they all suck at that. Um, they're sneaky little tanks, and I wanted to um, throw this in here as well. Um... This is the comparison between the Shaska, the Bison, and the Scorp G. And it just kind of goes into different stats here. Um, you can see that the Bison's uh, vision to camo is not great. The Vindicator is probably more on point. It's actually a little bit better than both of them. Um, but it's, it's closer than the, the Bison is. However, the Bison's gun is a little more comparable to them. Um, so feel free to just pause and take a look at the different comparisons. Um, is it worth it? I don't know. If you like tank destroyers, sure, I'd say go ahead and get it. It kind of looks like a fun, snipey little tank um, with high alpha. Um, but that's not my style, so I'm not going to get it. But that's all of the review I got for you. Hope you enjoyed.